It's Vlogmas. It's Vlogmas. So first and foremost, welcome to Uncommon Sense. Uncommon Sense here with Uncommon Sense. I'm going to go over a few different things that you can possibly get. That special woman in your life or special lady in your life for this Christmas. Okay. So we're doing just a little bit something different for Vlogmas. And I want to just present a few options to you for this holiday season. So the fragrances that I'm going to present in this list are very affordable. I don't believe I paid any more than $80 for any fragrance in this presentation for you today and have quite a few options. So what we're going to do is we're going to go from the least expensive and kind of work our way all the way to the top. This list will include some niche fragrances as well as some designers as well as some um, lesser known fragrances. So basically what I want to just give you guys are options for this Christmas if you don't know what to get the special person in your life. Okay. Okay. So first let's start with a fragrance that is somewhat newer to my collection. And again, fragrance is subjective. It's not necessarily a specific gender in mind, but these fragrances are typically marketed toward women, but I happen to have them in my collection for the simple fact that I'm a little more adventurous. And with that being said, our first production, first presentation, Clean Endless Summer. And now I understand what you're probably thinking right now. This is a summer fragrance. However, it is a great option. And it's kind of one of those fragrances that smells great. It's fresh. It's clean. Kind of sprayed it right on myself. But it's a really nice fragrance and has a nice atomizer too. It smells like a summer breeze. It's fruity. It's floral. And it kind of has that clean, powdery type of situation to it. Now, I don't believe that this fragrance is marked unisex. Well, better yet, I don't believe this fragrance is marked specifically for men. It smells a bit more unisex to my nose. So that's one option. Clean, classic, endless summer. Okay, cool. Let's get that out of the way. Another option is Pink Sugar by Aqualina. Now, this fragrance is very sweet. It is, oh my God, it's one of the fragrances that I actually really like for my skin. And even though I'm a man, this fragrance is very sweet, sugary, strawberry, and it's really nice on skin. It's, ugh. listen, I feel like if I can wear it, it's going to smell amazing on a gentler chemistry, but really cute kind of sexy bottle. She will not be upset that you got her this. It's one of those fragrances that is, like I said, sweet, and I believe it's feminine enough that a lady will like it. But for the fellas, if you're adventurous and you're fraghead, you can give this a try as well. I talked to a few other gentlemen in fragcom, and they said that they this is one of their guilty pleasures because it's going to smell different on each person. But this is very dessert, like kind of like cotton candy. I uh, may have paid twenty five dollars for it, and this is a one point seven. Boom. So that's another option. Aqualina's pink sugar. Get these out the way. I'm going to try to go through this list really quick because I just want to present a few things to you guys. Um, ooh, my next one. Now, this one's a little bit harder to find these days. I haven't seen them around too much. But if you tend to go to the rack storage, you may be able to look up and find some of these. This is Tokyo Milk Dark Bulletproof. Now, I happen to run across this one for less than $20, but I think these are actually going on sale at Margot Elena's website for about 40, 40 ish. And this is a 1.6 fluid ounce, but it's a simple fragrance that has an impact. If I can open it. And it's an eau de parfum concentration. And just like to see that. Boom. All right. So Bulletproof 45 by Margo Elena. Very simple notes. Look at what we got. Smoked tea, coconut milk. 
Let's get that right. <laughs> Smoked tea, coconut milk, crushed cedar, and ebony woods. Those, that's the note layout. This fragrance is kind of creamy, milky, and it's one for the wintertime. I really feel like the best time to wear this fragrance would be in the wintertime, probably during the nighttime, the cozy hours. And it smells really alluring and fresh and sexy on the skin. This one is unisex, but I see this being very nice on a lady's chemistry, especially if she likes notes of tea and coconut milk. Very sexy and alluring fragrance. Mm. So again, that's Bulletproof by Tokyo Milk Dark. I'm Margo Elena. And again, this is a little different for me. I usually don't do videos without heavy editing, but I want to just hop on and do just a little something for Vlogmas because I said I want to participate this year. Um, this is my first time doing it. I just want to present to you guys something that is different for me, right? Okay. So our next fragrance is going to be one that the ladies probably will be familiar with. This one is by Mac. It's called Velvet Teddy. Really pretty bottle. And again, this is a fragrance that is targeted toward women, but it smells good on my skin as well. Tobacco, honey. Really, really beautiful and alluring fragrance. And again, I have my moments of wondering, is this technically marketed toward women? Like, I just was wondering, is this something that is for the ladies? But this made my fall top 10. And I really think it's perfect for this time frame. It's sexy. It's alluring. And again, the ladies love Mac. So you getting this for your lady or the special someone in your life, well, she will be one kind of impressed that you thought enough of her to get a fragrance like this. And then two, it's pretty, pretty nice presentation too. Sexy. So the fragrance itself again is sexy. This one is reportedly a comparable dupe to Tom Ford's Tobacco Vanille. I like it. I smelled tobacco vanilla a while ago, and it does have some similarities. So, again, we got Mac Velvet Teddy. And this is a part of their shade sense. This is an Eau de Parfum concentration as well. So, I think I got this one for about $50 at Macy's. I had a coupon. So, do your bargain shopping, fellas. Definitely do your bargain shopping. So, next one is going to be a fragrance that I came to experience. And, again, this made my summer top 10. And I like a fresh fragrance. And this one is Moschino's I Love Love. It's from their Cheap and Chic line. And I really dig this fragrance. So this one compares to Dolce Gabbana's Light Blue. This one just has a slightly sharper citrus note. But really cute bottle. Kind of looks like olive oil. And I think uh, these... Are based off the king characters, aka olive oil, Popeye, etc. Mm. Really fresh, marine, a little salty, um, citrus. Oh my gosh. Especially someone in your life will be glad to have this. Even though this fragrance is technically supposedly more geared towards spring and summer, you'll look up and we'll be in spring and summer before you know it. So, if you want to get a head start on the spring and summer collection, this is a great option to move forward with for that special someone in your life. And that, again, is Moschino's I Love Love from the Cheap and Chic section. All right. Next. We're going to go to something a little darker and a little more sensual. Okay. So this one is a fragrance that comes from a vegan and cruelty free company. Cat Von D's Center. The bottle on this one is beautiful. And if you have a frag head in your life that loves beautiful presentations, he or she will not be upset. That is just friggin' gorgeous. I love it. And the fragrance is, like I said, it's dark. It's sensual. It's patchouli. That atomizer is... Uh, let's, let's get a spare place to put this on some skin. You guys hear that? Mm, mm, mm. 
patchouli. It's floral. It's dark. It's sensual. It's sexy. I really think anybody would be glad to have this. The special lady in your life would be so excited to have this probably sitting on her dresser or vanity because this is a beautiful bottle. If she's an individual who does display her fragrance collection, isn't that pure? That's just, ah, I just, what more could you ask for, right? So that's Kat Von D's Center. All right, moving on. Again, we're going to move forward to some more affordable fragrances still before we get into the higher end niche fragrances in my collection that are technically marketed toward women. But I'm on common sense. And like I said, I have a, more than a few fragrances in my collection that are marketed toward women that I had to have. And the next one is going to be Banana Republics, Dark Cherry and Amber. This one's a little newer to my collection. And I felt like I really needed to have this fragrance since I actually got rid of one of my cherry based fragrances, La Petite Robe Noir by Guerlain. And I said, you know what? I wanted to get this one because I wanted to be adventurous. So in getting the fragrance, I was pleasantly surprised. Oh, I sprayed some already. Let me put a little more on now. I was pleasantly surprised with this one because for it to be a fragrance that is quote unquote a store branded fragrance, I didn't have a lot of expectation for it. But dark cherry and amber is elegant in its simplicity. And that's a beautiful bottle too. Oh my God. It's very sexy. It's like a maraschino cherry, kind of like a cherry cordial mixed with amber. So you get the kind of tart cherry mixed with the amber base. And I really feel like this is an excellent gift for this time of year. It smells just absolutely divine. And I'm pretty sure that the lady in your life would be happy to have this fragrance in the collection. Give it a shot. I paid $35 for this one. And this is a 2.5 Eau de Parfum. My bad. So again, I don't think you can go wrong with that selection. And then it's it's a pretty nice presentation too. It kind of comes in that book volume style. Slides out. Has a little pull tab. Kind of like how the Zerjoffs are. If you're fragrant, you know what I'm talking about. And if you don't, that's okay. You can actually check out a few of my other videos that talk about fragrance. So um, that is that. Now, if you want to move into something probably a little bit more familiar, but you don't necessarily want to pay that exorbitant cost, great fragrance selection to get would be some of the fragrances from Dua. This is a Dua fragrance, and it is a clone of Tom Ford's bitter peach and it is called sour peach now these fragrances are extra the parfums and they are nuclear when it comes to projection and lasting power really really nice bottle and this one mm. This one just really smells like, of course, peach, but there's a sourness there or a bitterness, should I say. kind of smells like peach potpourri, but I mean that in the most, I mean that in the most alluring and sexy way. It's like floral, it's peach, it's a little bit of sourness there. And I really feel like if you want to get the special someone in your life, something that is reminiscent of Tom Ford's Bitter Peach, but you want to be very cost effective, give Duo a try because they have excellent quality fragrances. And this one is again called Sour Peach. And again, I'm a sucker for a dope presentation too. I really feel like these kind of story book volumes that they do is pretty nice. Comes boxed and you can order this online. I think that's an excellent gift item. I paid $40 for a one fluid ounce, but in, at an extra de parfum concentration, it's probably going to last forever. Um, next. Now, we're going to, we're winding down. And I'm going to actually get into my more higher end indie niche line of fragrances. One is going to be L'Autre Saint Parfumer Noir Exquise. 
Now, this fragrance is, is sweet. It's vanillic. And it kind of puts you in mind of Maze and Margiela's By the Fireplace. But the difference with this one is it's a little less smoky and just a little bit more sweet. I really enjoy this fragrance. And this one is perfectly unisex. But I feel like what it does a little better than By the Fireplace is it lasts a lot longer. And it's very sexy on a woman. I've smelled it before on a woman and it just smelled amazing. She smelled like candy yams with a marshmallow top. It smelled so good in the best way possible. And I really feel like this is an excellent fragrance to have for this time of year. It's the holidays. And I think this would be an amazing gift. This one ran me, this is a vintage bottle. And I ended up getting the newer presentation as well. So that should show you how much I like it. But um, this one ran me $70 for 1.7. And I feel like that's pretty good for a niche fragrance. So 50 mil, give it a shot. I don't think the special person in your life will be at all upset. All right. Next, we have Rosasi's La Yuquam Jasmine Wisp. This presentation is stellar, bar none. This is a wooden box. It is purple, magnetic cap, and beautiful presentation. beautiful and this fragrance is so fresh and floral and fruity oh my god this one lasts like forever too i tried it back in late summer oh this one just lasts on my skin for forever has jasmine other floral notes there is a like peach slash osmanthus cord in here it just lasts forever it's very similar and close to um tiziana terenzi's kirky they're very similar to my nose kind of the same as jasmine um sorry kind of the same as jardine exclusive by mancera they're in that same kind of vein kind of just in the same vein of Zerjov's Herba Pira. So if you want a more affordable fragrance that has very similar quality, I will say this, this one lasts so long on my skin and it smells amazing. And I may have paid $65 on it from Amazon. So I can provide my Amazon associate link. And if you're interested in this fragrance, you can check it out and get it as a gift for your special someone in your life. And again, that is Rosasi's Jasmine Wisp, La Yuquam. Last but not least, we have Juliet Has a Gun Anyway. Juliet Has a Gun is a very, very nice fragrance. I actually had a chance to experience this in my Scentbox subscription. It's kind of hard to get out this package. But it's a lighter floral. Okay. Okay. I'm get it out of this this packaging right now however it's a very light white floral and i think this is an excellent fragrance for individuals who like high-end fragrances but don't want to commit to wearing a fragrance all day that don't want to be bothered with a very loud cloying fragrance it's very beautiful and it, like i said it is a fragrance that is technically marketed toward women but it's unisex by all stretches of the imagination so I would say go ahead and give this a shot, especially for the special someone in your life, because I feel like it's a fragrance that is mass appealing, but niche at the same time. So that's going to wrap up my Vlogmas and my first video for Vlogmas. And again, happy holidays. And I look forward to seeing you guys soon. Again, remember, it's been your man, Uncommon Sense. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. As my sign says, you like, you comment, and subscribe if this is the place that you want to be and come back soon for other great gift ideas, not only for the holidays, but just in general. All right, two fingers in the air like a player, and I love you guys. I'm out. Till next time.